Welcome to this Trimble Business Center Aerophotographic Module video tutorial. Today we will talk about merging flight missions in Trimble Business Center. We will import two flights that are in the same area and they are continuously flown. So there's an area A and there's an area B. So and therefore we need to define our coordinate system, which is already done here. And we start to import our first data set. The first data set is the flight 100.0004. And it includes also all necessary files for the baseline processing. So Rhinex, timestamp and PPK raw data and event log file are existing. Same is also for flight number two, where we have in this case here again, our PPK raw, Rhinex and timestamp file and the event log file. Therefore, we will here import the first flight and during the import, also the Rhinex file is imported. So we get here the receive raw data check and we can here just apply with OK. And after the first flight is imported, we will then just repeat it and import our second flight. The data that we import is um, RTK flag 16. So we will still need to run a baseline processing to increase the quality of the GNSS position. And we will do this based on both flights together, which is nice. So let's here import then the second flight. Also for the second flight, again, the receiver raw data check comes up. We don't need to change anything. So antenna and receiver are correct. And after the second flight is imported, we will have two flights in our TBC project. So here we go, the import is done. Also, the second flight here includes now our statistics about the import. And therefore we have then here our, <coughs> sorry, here our second flight is also imported. And here we have also our images imported to it with the 117 images here. We can see here the two different blocks here. So here the lower part is our first flight and from 100 underscore 004. And then here is our second block from the flight 100 underscore 0005. When we take a look at the Project Explorer, we can see in the flight missions our two different flights and also for the imported files we can see the two different Rhinex files. At the moment, when we would run, for example, the relative adjustment, we would now be able to run on the first and on the second flight mission our relative adjustment, and therefore they would be handled separately. But we want to merge these two flights, and this can be done easily in TBC with the merge flight mission. We can here select the two missions. After we select the two here, we can say, okay. And then these images are all placed into one single flight mission. You can still see, of course, here the blocks underneath, but this will be now here one flight mission. And for example, in the relative adjustment, now we only have one flight mission to select for our processing to run it over all our images. If your project has multiple Rhinex files, it doesn't matter, we can still go through the T02 files of them, or in my case here, I will download for this area the related course data, and in my case here, I already prepared this one here. If not, you can here create a new download part, then here create a new site, search for the data site, and in then case here, this will be added. In my case, I have it now here. I can now search automatically for this time span 
of my two different Rhinex files for the according data. And after the data is downloaded, I can import the data and here get my receiver raw data and then say, okay, uh, well, in my case here, this is now this Atlanta and the receiver is here, single base one. And we can now start the baseline processing, which will run for both of these Rhinex files a process. And then we can, as always, take a look at the result of each of these two uh, processes. So here in my case, the first one, and in my case here, the second one, where we can take a look at the reports and on the quality. And then we can here save the project. And now our GNSS values of all our images from both flights have been correctly uh, corrected with uh, the baseline processing and we can now here close the baseline processing. So we are now ready. We can now go to the adjustment and run the relative adjustment in our case here because the GNSS is high precision. It will automatically run after the relative adjustment also an absolute adjustment and we will get for the complete Block. So for these two flights as one block, we will get one single solution. And this is how you can use the Merge Flight Vision tool to bring multiple sessions together as one project and process it in TBC. So here we go. We can apply the adjustment. And we will have now in this project here for each flight its own camera calibration. So for the first and the second part, we have two camera calibrations, mainly because this could be done flying on two different days, or in this case, also uh, two really two different DJI Phantom 4 cameras. In your case, if you are wanting to process everything with one single camera, then you could also have um, switched after the baseline processing to US master. So send to US master and then um, change the camera settings for the second block or for the first block and apply the same camera to all 151 images and then change the GNSS accuracy to the five centimeters in US master and then process the whole thing just with one camera setting. So this is just for you also as an information. Okay, I hope you liked the video and know how to merge now here your different flights as one project. Have fun and have a nice day. Goodbye.